Every year for LEGO Star Wars May 4th, LEGO fans go crazy, balls to the wall, spending as much money as they can. But this year, I'm going to be one of those people, so I can find out if it's worth it for this, this, and this. A few weeks ago, I got an email from LEGO News saying that May 4th was gearing up for a comeback, but in the fine print it said that in order to get the best stuff, I had to spend at least $160. Oh, the things I do for you guys. Like and subscribe so I feel better about my money. A few days later, my sets arrived, and my freebies, yum. Up first is our droid carrier remake. Is it worth it? Time to do some building to find out. Bag 1 had the simplest parts of the build, and of course our very favorite pilot droids that we haven't gotten in here. And the rest of it just built the outer edge of what's going to be this droid carrier. The actual carrier part of this thing is, well, decent. The way that it's built is fine and it's sturdy, but the way you bend over the uh -oh. droids to put them in is a little strange. Anyway, with it all complete, it fits in there pretty nicely and is sturdy enough. Time to go fight Jar Jar. You something big to do with this so was $160 I spent worth it to get this thing? Yes and no. I wouldn't call this a droid army builder, but it definitely comes with some great features. My first time seeing this brick was fun. It looks good. The droid carrier part slides out really nicely and it's so smooth. They also included a place for weapons, which those fake ones don't have. And you've gotta love those bent over droids. <laughs> Maybe they should have just left him standing. That doesn't look too bad. Although Lego didn't put in the instructions how to get them out. Help! They're stuck! Oh, now I get it. They want to go swimming. So I guess the carrier was pretty special, but we're not done. Oh, a Star Wars poly bag. Time to rip it open! And build a pretty decent looking AAT. It's not terrible. Oh, yeah. And that's it. An AAT. Doesn't it seem a little small to be an AAT? Hurry, sure. soldiers, get it before it grows. Hang on, I'm not done here. Never pay for this poly bag. But for something free, this is really good. The gun spins around, arguably smoother than a bigger one. And it can even take down some clones. I guess size doesn't matter? Uh... For a poly bag, this is great and might even be better than last year's. The scale of it also works pretty well with last year's X-Wing 2. Poly bag deserved a minifig, but if you spend 40 bucks, it's pretty good. I wish I could say the same thing about the trash LEGO gave out this year. This is LEGO's attempt at being Apple. <laughs> Except this toy company made something that's not a toy. The sad thing about this is that Lego failed making their box special. The paper ribbon around it is stupid, and it's hard to get this thing open, because of course it is. <laughs> then once you finally do get it open, they made it hard to pull out the stupid coin too. This coin might be the dumbest mm -hmm. thing that I've ever gotten from Lego. What is the point of this? It has nothing to do with Lego Star Wars. Literally anything else that had anything to do with Lego would have been better than this. Luke's cut off hand from Empire Strikes Back, better than this. Even a cracked torso would have been better than this stupid coin. The way that this is supposed to be, I think, is this is the targeting computer from Darth Vader's perspective of the X-Wing, but it just looks cheap and unfinished. The back, I assume, is the glass of his TIE Fighter with a really great looking screw right on top, right in the middle of it. This coin doesn't deserve to be in a Lego collection. So instead, it's going to spend eternity in the dungeon of Mega Bloks. Maybe with a flood infection, it'll come out looking better. Bye, coin. Three freebies, $160. How did we do? The AAT is our solid underdog. It looks pretty good and it has a nice build. The overall best is obviously the droid carrier, and this droid is my favorite. Compared to these droids that we've gotten in years past, this one is actually so much better, I'm surprised. Lego even added a dot and just refined the new one. It looks so much better. The old one is just flat and lifeless. Can't believe I'm saying it, but Lego is improving their printing and they did it on a set that was completely free. I guess Lego's printing isn't that bad after all. I have a bad feeling. I guess waiting in line wasn't all that bad. May 4th was successful. Thank you very much for watching another Mr. Woody video. Please hit that like and subscribe button to help me stay sane. Stay tuned for reviews on the sets that I actually paid for, and have a great day. Peace.